It's really kind of funny printing brown on a bronze color. Oh, thermal runaway. Oh. Oh, what's up? That's... That ain't good. Um... Intrusive thoughts are ideas and images that come to mind uninvited. Typically unwanted. They are stress-related, hormonal-related. Sometimes it's related to PTSD. Intrusive thoughts can trigger things in your mind that you don't want to think about. Past experiences, traumatic times, the list goes on. Sometimes intrusive thoughts will also kind of make you do things that you really don't want to do. Like tear apart your machine. Let me turn the camera around. This right here, this is what I did. As you probably saw earlier, I had a little bit of a problem with a thermal runaway. So I wanted to check some stuff out. Instead of just pulling the machine, uh, pulling some stuff here and there and checking wires, I, I took everything apart. So let's talk about what we did here. In order to get the extruder head off of the X gantry, you have two screws here on either side of the head itself. And then three screws on the back that take off the entire thing. Now this fan shroud is the side vans here. And as you can see, possibly, there's a little bit of uh, crispiness in there. In fact, I'm not sure if you're able to see it really, but right up in here, this is melted. So this fan shroud wasn't actually working very well. Um, at one point or another, it melted on the other side too. So, looks like I might have actually burned out one of the fans itself. So I took that off. The back of it, as I said, one, two, and three screws here. Actually, looks like that. I also took off this bracket here for the fan underneath. It actually looked alright. I cleaned all this off, of course, with a uh, little squirt squirt of air. There is your breakout board that has all the connections for the fan, the sensor, the uh, extruder itself, the you know the the gears, uh, the <laughs> yeah the motor itself. I'm terrible with words today. My main thing was trying to get this off. As you can see, it got a it kind of got a little bit clogged and everything, and leaked everywhere and in fact let me see if I can actually show these in my hand these here are the screws that hold everything together they are actually covered in some stuff in the uh, PLA or PETG or whatever that was on there but the funny part is, they're actually bent. I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not. We'll have to... Maybe I can do some wonderful editing magic. But they are actually bent. So, what actually happened was, it looked like the nozzle must have been moving along, doing its thing, and started to leak, started to have a blowout, and it must have contacted somewhere on the print itself and at one point went click so those screws I just showed you go in these little holes right here here and here they go up into the bottom of the heat sink that's funny I couldn't think of a word for this at all yesterday but they go up in here and I can actually see that these are kinda of wallowed out they're kinda of old so, the heat sink itself had a bunch of burned, uh, that like white powdery burn over it. So, I think I burned out something. With the fact that I burned that stuff out, I 
thought to myself, well, what if I bought everything and just changed out some stuff? Oh, the heat block, a new heat sink that goes on it, new nozzle, new uh, heating cartridge and thermistor would have been $15.99. I'm going to link all this stuff in the description, but this would have been $15 itself. The breakout board itself, another $15. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This would have been $20 on Amazon. This would have been $15. So right there, we're looking at $35. This is $35. The entire darn thing. This is the accent, uh, assembled extruder kit for the Neptune 3 Pro Plus and Max. Uh, I've already opened it up just to make sure everything was correct. But comes in, it's nice little packaging, small box, but it comes with the entire package. So for $35, you, you can't go wrong. Uh, it comes with all the mounting hardware and everything for it too. Now remember, I bought this machine used. So with that in mind, it's, it's seen some better days. With the mounting, you have these three holes here. Uh, I'll put some arrows right there. Uno, dos, and trace. And then this one and this one for the final ones. So there's one, two, three screws that actually hold it to the bracket. And then the two that go on the edge of the fan shroud itself go right underneath here. Are these the right ones? Damn, I am good. As I said, three little screws on the back, two on the front for the shroud. I love that word, shroud. That's a cool word. There's three screws back here. One is like right here in the middle of these. Come on, get in the hole. Mm -hmm. yep, those are tight. Two on the top here actually hold this bracket in for the wire loom. Now, as I said, intrusive thoughts can make you do some weird things sometimes. Look at my face. I shaved off my beard yet again. Just because things in my head, unwanted thoughts. You think of these intrusive thoughts attacking you and you think of what can change these intrusive thoughts what can I make different so they don't hurt me it is unfortunately something that will attacks you it doesn't want you to live to your full potential when I saw that there was something wrong with the extruder I thought everything was wrong with everything I do they thought to myself, I'm not good at anything. I'm not good at YouTube. I'm not good at 3D printing. I'm not good at painting. And some of you are just like, damn right you're not. <laughs> but some of you are like, oh, no, dude, you're doing good. I thank you. All of you. There's another thing I can teach you. Put everything back the way it's supposed to be. I'm all done. All I gotta do now is turn this back on. I'll put this away. The machine itself has already started up. No weird noises or anything like that. Uh, I fixed the wobbleness of this. I need to re-level. And if you haven't seen my re-leveling, my leveling, auto leveling, if you haven't seen that video, it's right up here. It's my best video. Best performing video, actually. So I'll get a piece of paper, level it out, start my print. But that's it. $35 for this whole thing, for the whole assembly, instead of piecemealing it all out. And you saw how easy it was. So, five screws all together. 
I love this Elegoo more and more every day. So, all right, I'm going to try to make that print that I was trying to make for my cosplay. That'll be a different video, though. See you guys later.